Okay, let's start work on atmosphere for our planet. And one thing is with atmosphere, it's kind of interesting because it can take you many hours just to tweaking find right. I want to just look right here major on the principles how to create it. And again, I encourage you to go and experiment creating your own version of this um, effect of the planet and see which atmospheres you like it more. Again, for the purpose of tutorials, we maybe cut some corners on the tweaking, on adjusting and previewing. But again, we'll look just on the principles and showing you right way to do this. Um, again, it's not necessarily right, but it's just my way how I'm doing. So we'll go right here, main planet, and we'll look on a haze. Currently, it says density, 03 haze. It's which going through all atmospheres to make particles inside the atmosphere. I want to create a darker top and a little bit brighter bottom with atmosphere. So in this case, I want to take density increase, but take the height and drop down. Let's go for now. We'll take this haze and we'll increase maybe to about 15, somewhere around that area, which will in increase all this glowing effect. We also want to take this horizon and maybe take even down. So we'll have a dark color for our horizon. And you can see how haze already covering and hiding this effect. Uh, we need to go inside the height control. And right now, our height is 5,000, way high. So let's go just set even to the 50. You'll notice how it will drop down the altitude for our haze as well. You know what? Let's take also blue sky. And, you know, maybe just as example, bring down to 800. So we'll bring this blue color down overall. We'll make much shorter type of the atmosphere. This will bring some this color of the nebula. But at the same time, you can see right this middle area where we start preserving some of those colors for us. Also working on ceiling adjustment, we can reduce a little bit of this, bring down, and overall ceiling, yeah, let's bring down maybe somewhere around there. Okay, it will also will shrink a little bit of our atmosphere. And you know what, on a haze, let's go bring this a little bit up. So I don't want too bright blue, the haze will offset. You can see how it's make darker, you know what, even 200 maybe. But problem with haze will start covering right top when I don't necessarily want to do this. Okay, let's go to main and density, let's pop up even more. Like right there. So you'll notice right in this area, we'll start hearing more haze, more distance. But how I say, it, we will affect a little bit on top, so between Case height and density, we can find um, a sweet spot just will fit perfectly what we needed. Okay, as we're doing this blue sky density and horizon, this is will help us to create some little bit yellowish offset so we can create by adjusting. And I'm going to take this just a little bit down, shrink it. Okay, and let's take this one down as well. So we'll just make a little bit darker color. And we'll see if maybe yellowish or whatever, we'll see how it will come up. Okay, let's render. And how I said before, I look on this planet and it's matching too much. You know, this planet need to be kind of like bluish, a little bit more offset. But overall, we have this nice haze going on a planet, but we still see our nebula right there. So let's stop this one. Okay, next, I want to go into my planet. Okay, where's my planet? Right here, we'll go to internal network. And right in the colors, you notice. So let's switch this. Let's go try to create maybe more grayish, bluish color. Okay, as example. Okay, and I'll just go see the difference. Yeah, 
I think this color stands a little bit better than other ones. As well, we can take a rings and take down the luminosity so it's, they won't be that bright. Just make them a little bit dimmer. Um, except that in real, if you see they're very bright, it's actually, again, depending on what is there. Okay, so it's come up nicely right here haze i want maybe just add a little bit more of the yellowish kind of blue color so let's do this way inside on a haze horizon you know what let's go take this and bring a little bit more to cyan color for our horizon color we're gonna increase again this little bit more up a blue sky right here as well, you know, I'm just going to bring a little bit more saturation to this. Okay, right here, adjusting. Height control. Uh, let's go bring this haze a little bit up. It will add the effect. And maybe same on a blue sky. We will lose some more details, but it will give it us a little bit more interesting depth cover as well. Okay, inside the lighting, um, we can, environment lighting, we can just dim down a little bit. It will add darker areas overall on the environment, so it won't be too bright with this. Okay, as well, we have a glow amount, and that one we can take down the glow amount on the haze will clear up a little bit in the lighter areas and as well a little bit on this one so it's kind of start playing around but to compensate for some of this we'll increase here so we'll smooth overall we can increase glow haze on the bottom and decrease on top so we can it's by decreasing amount on the glowing and increase we can increase glowing in this area but again just play around with this which settings will work mostly um you set you render you kind of preview see um how well it will fit with yours okay this is maybe a little bit too blue let me take down more to the saturated color on this one so on the planet okay and right here's look okay we need to add some soft shadows you know what, let's place one cloud on the back as well. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, let's go level up. Okay, right here we go to our planet. We'll go right here to these colors. And let's set less saturated for this. So right here, we'll go to this one the same set, less saturated. It's almost like slightly blue, just very very soft okay next on the clouds let's go to add lower level cloud I just placed right here one thing what I want to for this cloud it's enable localize so what it does it's take this cloud and create right here you can see one specific shape so just to preview, let's go set 1000, okay? It's created right here, just above us. We'll go to um, altitude, let's bring it down. Maybe around right here, so I can preview. Okay, we're going to select object. And we can actually move this way far away the other things um we have another tutorials where we can work a little bit more with this cloud right now i just want to place them right maybe behind this mountain so right here we have a mountain i just want this cloud kind of like almost pork from that cloud from that place right here Okay, um, let's work a little bit edge down. We'll have it density 
It will have a nice soft effect on this cloud. But not too much so we don't cover the planet a lot. Just something will add more depth to the our scenery. Okay, very fast to render. I think I need to work a little bit more on a cloud. I think it will be kind of almost invisible cloud, but we'll see. So yeah, I can dense its way low, same as the size. So we want to do uh, let's increase radius for this cloud okay and as well I want to take this one and maybe you know let's go to move about 10,000 away okay we'll go up and as well let's color depth increasing Maybe about right here. So we have it, some cover, but it's I want cut just before camera. Right here you can see we increase size, so that our cloud little bit is growing. So let's cut off from this edge slightly, and again with the edge sharpness and density, we can bring this just slightly down, make it smoother. Yeah, I see my clouds start cutting off because the height of the atmosphere is what I said before. Okay, we can go right here. Let's bring this just a little bit up. Give it 150 on this one. <clears throat> okay, now we can go inside the clouds. Let's bring up, see the um, preview. So we okay, we have just small clouds covering. Maybe you know, bring them closer, and slightly increasing. So I want to have it some um, not too much cloud, but some if need be applied to this okay um, in the lighting so let's go to our environmental and right here we have a string on the surfaces just reduce so we'll have a little bit darker effect right here I also have it clouds come up maybe a little bit too strong need render and preview and just reduce cloud couple things make it smoother okay yeah cloud come up way strong now preview so we have it it's not a whispering cloud anymore so I want to take this down okay then get closer but still a little bit too much so let's go take even more down. Let's just set coverage zero right here. There you go. Okay, so it's look about right what I wanted. So we'll stop this. I'll take this and bring way closer. Just a little bit repositioning. Okay, we also let's take even more down. Okay, we'll go inside the lighting, sunlight, and let's enable soft shadows. I just soft shadows will look a little bit better on this um, right mountains on the back. Okay, environmental string on surfaces. Again, I'm just bringing down, make it kind of a little bit dimmer effect. Okay, in atmosphere, right here. So let's bring um, density a little bit up. It should give it us more yellowish kind of color. And we'll increase this by one. 
and a six. Again, I'm no, I'm hiding a little bit now this behind, but I want to have this density. I want to have it perspective. And one way to do this is by with haze. We can add some perspective to our uh, landscape. Um, also, you know what? Let's go to. Okay, right here we have our colors. Okay, let me go modify a little bit. Okay, this is good. I think this may be a little bit that way. Okay. Just reduce a little bit on the brightness for this one. A bit more on a yellow sandy look. Kind of matching colors without too much bringing them out. Okay, let's preview. Okay, so a couple things before we wrap up with this portion of tutorials. The sun, I don't like how flat right here need mode to create a little bit maybe shadows add to this place. Um, pop up our cloud density because I move it forward, kind of integrating, and reduce little bit brightness on our rings. So we'll do this way. Let's go right here, our shaders, and right here luminosity, so we can actually take it down on our rings. Okay, let's go right here. Make them just slightly darker. Okay, next we'll going inside sunlight. It's what I want to do. Take sun and just reposition slightly. So we're going to maybe tune just right around here. I'm just looking on the shadows right there. I want to create a little bit deeper shadows. And you know what? Let's take this down as well. Maybe around six. Seven should be create nice shadows around that area. Yep. Kind of give it the shadows on this right here will give it us a little bit more um interesting effect. Give it some depth to this as well. Okay, um We'll just set everything as default. So I want this, that, um, and atmosphere clouds right here. I want to pop this. I don't want them to disappear all away. Okay, I think we set a good for this. And also because we brought down right here, we want to actually increase back some of these values. Okay, so we'll have a little bit better lighting on this area. But I think we're kind of done on this portion. So let's go to uh, set readings, pro uh, rendering properties, render and a little bit post-production inside the Photoshop to bring even more out of this image.